In spite of efforts by successive governments in Nigeria to encourage locally made vehicles to reduce the rate of importation of used automobiles and its negative economic consequences, the country is yet to enact legislation to support the drive. To this end, the Nigerian Automotive Design and Development Council called on the President Muhammad Bari led government to quickly make a legislation to change the auto policy into law. The NADDC Director General Jelani Aliu, who made the appeal shortly after inspecting the latest model of Honda car newly introduced to the Nigerian market, said the need for a legislation to support the policy was based on the conviction that it will assist in strengthening the policy as well as preventing it from being changed by subsequent governments. He noted that the automotive plan, which has six components that include standards, industrial infrastructure, local content development, skills development, investment promotion and market development, has a number of policy measures needed to revitalize the industry for job creation, local value addition and technology acquisition. As you're aware, the auto policy is a set of fiscal incentives designed and developed to support local production. Uh, because the big question in Nigeria is always what are we really after? Is it short-term uh, benefits or are we out really to create a fantastic, ubiquitously uh, uh, successful fu future for everybody? The only way we can ensure that this country continues as a successful nation is if we provide industrialization and provide jobs. The only way we can provide jobs is by boosting industry and supporting those local and international investors in coming into Nigeria and producing. From the engine to the body, we are all assembled uh, by Nigerians. So we could say for now, uh, the Honda has actually contributed in terms of transfer technology and of course giving a job to the Nigerian people. While urging auto manufacturers to continue to increase the level of their investments in the country, Mr. Aliu said the government vehicle finance scheme implementation will commence before the end of June, adding that the agency has reached an understanding with three banks in Nigeria that will give loans to eligible Nigerians after they must have deposited 10% of the cost of the vehicle. He, however, emphasized that the loans will be provided by the banks to Nigerians at a single-digit interest rate of 8%. Fred Idehai. CNN News.